What's up everyone? Just figured that I would check in with you, give you an update since I am about two and a half weeks into course careers. So more material than I anticipated. That is a very good thing. A lot of information in this course uh, to really grasp and understand. Um, I personally work anywhere from nine to 12 hour shifts five or six days out of the week. My wife and I, we have three children at home, six years old, three, as well as four months. So we have an eventful and fun household while going through this course. I've managed to get to about 50% through right now on course careers. So, so much information. Ways that I have been taking in the information and looking to learn it along with my busy schedule is I listen to the course while driving or while doing things. Um, and when I'm at home, something that I've been more adamant about recently is having my notebook out. So even if I'm holding our four month old or if I'm tending to something around the house, I'll have my notebook on the counter out in the open while I'm playing a course and glancing at the visual diagrams that may be included or the notes. So another thing that I do is I take screenshots of the notes and I save them into one file on my phone to go back and be able to study. So I have the screenshots along with the notes that I'm actually jotting down in my notebook. In addition to that, of course, I have to be able to allot certain time, extra time that may cut into sleep or something else but I feel like the reward is worth it in the end. So I will stay up later at night. I try to just get even, even a little bit done, even if it's only 30 minutes, but I will try to put in possibly 45 minutes to two hours a day, every day consistently into the course if I can. I am paying a lot of attention to the material, although I am in sales. Um, I've been in car sales for about a year and 10 months almost. I've been doing well in it. I've also got into content creation concerning my car side. However, the things that I am learning in course careers, it is, it's a lot different, I must say. And I suppose it's because it's business to business sales as opposed to business con to consumer. And I feel like I just don't wanna miss important information when I'm going through the interviewing process with these companies, as well as when I actually enter a job, I do want to make sure that I am competent in being able to start my career off effectively without the job feeling like they may have, I guess, wasted their chance that they took on me as someone who only went through an online self Pace course. So really good information. I am enjoying it. I do even believe that this course is actually helping me in the automotive side uh, while I am still continuing this side of my life. How long will I remain in automotive sales? I really don't know. I originally began uh, course careers and moving forward into the tech industry because I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking futuristic. Uh, what do I want to be involved in a couple of years from now? I would imagine it would probably be the tech side of things, business to business sales over cars, but I'm not necessarily just making a split decision. Oh, I'm about to quit my car um, career right now. I really don't know, but I do know I did want to be adamant about moving forward, putting my foot in the door and preparing and setting myself up to be in a position to enter into the tech space. And as of now, that is exactly what I plan on doing as well as my wife. We both plan on entering into the tech space. So stick along for the journey. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying the progress. And we hopefully will be coming on board, coming on video in the next uh, three weeks or so, four weeks, maybe sooner, hopefully and letting you know that we are now going through the interviewing process in our tech career. Thank you so much for joining us. See you on the next video.